I just gotta say something. Don't ever call me Jake again. This shirt I did not show off in the video. I'm really surprised it did not sell today. Fucking camera out of my face. Currently in Lake Tahoe, California. We had a pretty good start. We left right on time. We went to Portland, hit some thrifts. With my dog, my mans. With my dog, feel me. My Come dog, on, man. my homie. You know what I'm saying? Come on, you know what I'm saying? You feel me? Making our way down to. Uh... Making our way downtown. I'm walking fast. <laughs> Shaking my ass in the hometown. <laughs> Yo. <Good>. Shit, <laughs> it's been so long. What the? F I'm in the truth. No matter with me. You need this? Get the fucking camera out of my face. <laughs> <laughs> little uh, oyster bar. You know oysters are. Yeah, it like makes you horny if you eat them, right? Okay. Little corn tea, Y2K mm -hmm. joint. Bro, the lead singer is Zola and the drummer is Agubu. He also found this Dakota truck tea. This thing is sick. Folks, cats, life is sweet. Nothing is finer than nailing a horny one at the crack of dawn. We were just continuing our drive down to California, and RJ noticed a little rummage sale. Why are you copying my style with the cutoffs? Kick. <laughs> You're lucky I'm holding this camera, otherwise I sock you the fuck. Go over there, bro, like, uh, where it says, uh, for a color attack, so, women's apparel. Your hat's on crooked. Yo, look, the Nike Space Hippies. Some Hoka One Ones, no insoles. But we got here in Lake Tahoe at 3.30 a.m. Hey, RJ, how'd you sleep? Breakfast in bed, buddy. Yay! Hey, you want another one? No, I just want one. No, take another one. <laughs> you take this for your antioxidants, too. What the fuck is my antioxidants? I can't really sleep when there's too much movement. As soon as the fucking guy at the leaf blower came in blowing no leaves around us for like an hour, <laughs> and for sure, we're getting a motel. You're just doing side missions in life now. You don't even have to do this shit. <laughs> you don't even have to live like this, bro. <laughs> like, those days are gone. What are we doing? Like, we got money now. <laughs> what the fuck? Anyways, we're heading down to Fresno, California. There is a car coming yet again. There is a plethora of obscure cars coming. <laughs> like I was saying, for these cars interrupted me. The reason that we are traveling so far for this flea market is because I was watching a whatnot video, and the seller had some amazing stuff. I spent like four thousand dollars. I showed a lot of it off in my last video. He mentioned that he had a flea market in Fresno, California. I'm hoping to get this video up by Wednesday, which means I will have a live tomorrow on whatnot where all the items that I find in this video on this journey, this excursion, this trip will be sold on whatnot. Top link in the description. I freaking love Lake Tahoe, by the way, guys. I said it would be better when I look at the mountains. That was stupid. <laughs> Cold, huh? Yeah, that's freezing. I will name him Circumcision. Man, I do not want to say goodbye. No more Dora the Explorer, no more fun and games, no more. Funny. Shenanigans, all right? I hate to see you pissed off. <laughs> Major Fresno, Arde. Arne? Arde is gonna be driving. We made it to Fresno, RJ. What was better, sleeping in the cross track or the hotel? There was no sleeping in the cross track. <laughs> What up? Man? <laughs> you made it. Snuck yeah. into the back door. Nice dog, to meet RJ. you. What's up, man? James, nice to meet yeah. you. Alright, homie said this is his mid rack, and there's already some actual like bangers on here. Yo, what the Scrabble yeah, AOP? Guys, I already got some good little pieces. UFC, Breaking Point, Brock Lesnar, Frank Mir. Yo, this Boondocks is fire. I've had this one other time, but it fit me too long. Nice little fader. That is beautiful. The Lauren Hill. Oh, bro, RJ's calling me over. Yo, what's good? Nice to meet you. I watch you all the time, bro. It's cool to finally meet you. Yo, in thank you, bro. Hey! I got you this little 80s piece because I know you like. Yo, up. that's fucking dope. I mean, I you're always inspiring that. me, dude. Yo, thank you. I love watching your show. I watch it all the time. Just got a nice little bundle off my guy. Got it. Two bags for 20 minutes. These top two we got for 80. Really? That's perfect. So far, pretty cool. We got some good stuff. My boy Golden Era Vintage. He literally sources exactly what I want, which is a gift and a curse because it means that I want stuff for my whatnot, but it also means I want stuff for myself. Are you gonna drink your coffee? You keep fucking around. I'm gonna stick my dick in here. I mean, my foot in your ass. I want to slow mo you drinking coffee. Best part of waking up. I run this 
streets with coke hats. We perps and smoke bats. We down like folk flat. So call them my folk black. Me and my pole, and crew was tighter than toe. We shoot us only a choke. And food that I might be close to. Too. We share clothes, hoes, and never with clothes. Good one. The Barbara Kruger, who is beyond the law. The fade on that radio head is crazy. Yeah, I did not see this one. That was sick. The digestive system. How did I miss that? My cutoff brethren, you know what I'm saying? Yo, style on point. Hey, bro, I bought some teas if you're interested. Yeah, yeah. I can start off crazy. Oh, okay. All right. Saturday Night Live hit. Oh, oh that's sick. Another good one. For this one, I can do like 80. This Damn. 150, that's cool. 150? You said 70 for this? Yeah, 10. Set done, yeah. And that's 40. 10. That's 50. These are 230, so that's 280. Did a little bundle. 300. Appreciate you. So you said he's way taller bro, than you thought? Way fucking taller than that. Why didn't you say that to me? Bro, in all your videos, <laughs> you're short. We got a tolerant person. Hey, I'm short too. I was like, yeah, maybe he's the same height. I appreciate it. And we got another bag full of goodies, like 21 items. I don't know how much footage I can use because of the music, and you know your boy's not trying to get that. There was like a couple vendors in particular that like really had that type of shh. My man speaks my language, and he's got a couple pieces. Radiohead, the Lauren Hill, which I'm really surprised it did not sell today. That one is so cool. It's just so random. Like, yeah, that's, that's crazy. Yeah, it's a beautiful one for sure. So let's, let's talk this and then we'll just add this. Okay. So we're at 995, 950, and I'll throw this in. 950 and throw that in? Yeah, yeah. And then also, real quick before we pack this up, what would you do if I threw in? Damn, I really like that radio head too, but I don't want to buy too many personals. <laughs> yeah. yeah, these two. That one holds very good value. You know, this one holds value too. And that's price low. So that's, five, that's 500 right here. I'll knock off 100 bucks. So four, we were at 950. Yeah. 1350. I'm not too far off. Would you do 1300? Of course, man. Perfect. Of course. I want to say, you curate some of the best shit. I hate that I like your shit because I don't know which ones I'm going to want to get rid of. Because a lot of this stuff is like literally like personal problem. stuff. It's a great problem when you're looking for stuff you want to keep. It's a bad problem when you're trying to sell. So I appreciate that, Jacob. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, there's something like that. I, I just wore that. I, I love last it. Week. Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful fade, beautiful print, great band. Likewise. Thank you so much. It was Likewise. seriously a pleasure to meet you in person. Like I said earlier in the video, I saw this man on Whatnot on the Faded Show. I was like so uh, enthralled by the set and just the energy and just everything that I was like, you know what? I'm gonna drive 15 hours down to California. Checked out the expo. I got a lot of stuff. And uh, yeah, man, I appreciate it. It was a pleasure to meet you. And we still gotta go back to the house. Yo. Oh, you wanna see the <laughs> As you guys can see by my exasperated breath, I just woke up. We gotta stay at this lovely studio in Oakland, right? Oakland, California. We stayed with one of the YouTube legends, the YouTube <laughs> forefathers, my yeah, man, yeah, DP yeah. the truth. Appreciate so, you, my so. guy. Are you guys ready to go to Alameda? Are you guys excited? <laughs> the legendary Alameda, the Northern Rose Bowl. Show road, my partner's alive for me. Take that die for me. My woman to cry for me. Let's go. Take and die for me. We all from the same track. And all used to slang crack. We all got gang fat. The Skrilla remain fat. My folks is rope. Yo, wait, what did you say? He's not even that short in person. Okay? Yes, yeah, the right, second right. person. What? It's because we're short too, okay? He's just exceptionally tall. No, he's like, for Filipino too. The Harley with the Tacoma back hit. Did you just take 25 off and did these two for 45? I can do 45. Okay, cool. Okay. The man, the myth, the legend, mid tees. Oh, oh, oh my god. Yo, you got me this? You can have it. Why aren't you wearing the sound garden that I got you? It's in my bag. I had it on yesterday. So I'm um, so much food in my mouth right now. Are you, used, are you used to having like large things in your mouth? <laughs> we got a little bundle right here, a little 150 for all of these beauties. Look at the Hollister 2002 motorcycle tee. The little camel dirt bike tee. Nothing better than smoking cigarettes and dirt bikes. Jack and Diane. Hurt so good. This song. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah. Damn. Yeah. My man's cultured. <laughs> see them Yo, everywhere. I see the homie in Fresno. Yeah. Now we see the yeah. homie in Frisco. What up, man? Even get Yo, my off. man is flexed <laughs> up today. This man really thinks this fits him. Same that is a that is a crop top on you. You don't even like that shirt. You hate that shirt. That looks like shit on you. That looks it's, terrible. It's exactly like that shirt. Yeah. You don't think I could fit these in the car? Do you think it'd be easier for me to fit these in the car or my dick in your ass? Probably. Which one do you think would be easier? Uh, probably the latter. See and David, my guy. Hands is out, bro. Yo, my man looking like an art dealer on whatnot with them gloves. Man, there's a lot of heat in this 
This looks like more than two rats, guys. Nice to meet you. I love you. I love you guys as well. How's your uh, in and out Better than Ruth Chris. Crazy. <laughs> Better than Ruth Chris. My dog DP just left us at the flea market today. Didn't even say goodbye. Hey, you were going, hey. I was doing a little, little buyout, I turn around, my boy's buyout. gone. Okay, it was a big buyout. <laughs> Either way, I turn around, my boy's gone. This is how it went. He did. I'm telling you. Then I did. Because I was like, when I did, you did, we did. <laughs> <laughs> You know, dolphins are notorious for raping each other. It has Mount Hum Air Force Base on it. That's my oh, first yeah. duty station. People sleep on the Puma suede. I don't know why. <laughs> All right, guys, I gotta show you what I got. I got this, absolutely nothing. You getting the B-roll? Yeah. In the hills? Yeah. Uh, you want anything from me, Nose? Hey, man, I don't wanna have to hurt him on camera. What's up with a real god right here, <laughs> man? Shit just knocked shit and job done before I see my eyelids, boy. different than most of my videos, but we are back, baby! As you guys saw, I kind of started this video in Lake Tahoe because I did film an intro here, but I didn't like it. But the focus was not the trip to California, it was the experience in California. Alameda was a little bit of an audible that was actually not in the plans. However, it happened to be going on during the exact same weekend, so we figured why not, and I'm glad we checked it out. The original plan was, of course, to go down to Fresno and check out the Sen Cal Central California Thrift and Vintage Expo. Met a lot of good people, really appreciate the love and hospitability, hospitality shown in Central California. It was super dope and of course, as always, we found some gems. Now most of the stuff that is currently hung up, I am planning on selling tomorrow on whatnot. 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. The only two that may not get sold tomorrow are of course, the Rage Against the Machine with the Barbara Kruger artwork on the front. You have the 97 Tour back hit and the Smashing Pumpkins. The fade on this is gorgeous and it fits me oh so deliciously. The rest of these and about 50 other pieces from this video will be ran on Whatnot tomorrow at 7 p.m. You have this, which I forgot the name. Jack and Diane. This Steve Miller band is so insane. We got some 49ers pieces with the little minor. We have some motorcycle pieces, this 3D emblem. You got like the dot art on the front with the shorty. Look at them cheeks. And the Sturges back hit that like blue on the fade. NASCAR pieces, some cartoon slash gaming pieces, some band tees, more sports tees, more motorcycle tees, and of course, some more. Banties, that's sublime. And of course, the Green Day. Got the little East Bay hit right here. Shout out Spice One. Like I said, those and about 40 other pieces will get ran. I'm not quite sure which pieces. We also got some crew necks. Big NASCAR spell out going across the chesticles. Some collegiate crew necks. And of course, the wraparound Dallas Cowboys. Now, I'm not gonna go over every single piece. We have a plethora of pieces. Oh, actually, this like Nordic Viking tee. Single stitch, I've never seen that before. Speaking of tees I've never seen before, I do not know what this is. If anyone knows, let me know. It says World Tour 91. You have Shorty with her cheeks out, a little bit of a tan line, and it says with lust, Gwendoin? Can you guys read what that says? But it looks like it has clubs or possible 
whorehouses. Anyways, I don't know if I'm gonna get rid of that. I kind of like it because it's just so random and like weird. Speaking of random and weird, we have a vintage Scrabble tee. It's got Scrabble being spelled out down the left chesticle with the Scrabble pieces. Scrabble pieces all along the back. Of course, the Lauren Hill Miss Education World Tour 1999. Sadly, this fits me a little bit big. It's probably kind of a good thing to be honest because I do not need more personals. That will not be in the next Whatnot show, but it will be on Whatnot soon. So make sure you follow me on Whatnot Thriftro, T-H-R-I-F-T-R-O-W. Of course, top link in the description. And like I said earlier, a lot of the pieces that are currently hanging up, as well as about half of the pieces that I purchased from this little journey will be ran tomorrow. I got about 165 pieces and I spent $4,000 $900. We got this shit face in Stanley and this cow actually has shit on his face. Another tee I have not seen. Ooh, this nine inch nails. Beautiful bag hit as well. The Everclear with the South Park characters. I actually got that to go with the uh, blind melon. Now I bought these two. They fit me a little bit long, but I'm not gonna get rid of them for a little bit. I do love these pieces. These are insane. I actually paid like $250 for these two t-shirts. You have retino graphics and it's got the inside of the eyeball with all the different parts of the eyeball. The cornea, the aura serrata, serratia, the iris, the lens, the retina, basically the entire anatomy of the eyeball on a shirt. And then you have this one as well, which says, hear me. And it's got the anatomy of the inside of your ear, which is perfect for me because I am deaf and I am blind. I have problems with my hearing. And obviously, as you can see with these insanely Coke bottle telescopic lenses on my face, I also have trouble with my vision. Another really cool tee, you have this Einstein. It says a stroke of genius. <laughs> I like how the watermark just says, Watermark. Super sick wrap around. I love those nature tees. Single stitch Batman. And we got some art tees. Look at this Norman Rockwell right here. That thing is gorgeous. I have so many art tees that just never end up getting sold. I don't know why, I just love them so much and then I always fear that other people won't appreciate them as much as I do. Even though I originally buy them and think, oh, maybe I'll see if people like this and then I just never end up selling them. So I have like a stack of just super sick art tees. I also got this cutoff. I need to try this on. I think it's gonna fit, dude. This thing is so sick. The homie in Fresno gave this to me. I do appreciate you, my guy. Yo, the nature yin yang is insane. It's not doggy style, but devil style. You have two little devils making love. Can they make love or do they only make hate? Ooh, this one's dope. We have the marijuanology. I feel like it should say marijuanopoly because it's a monopoly board. Oh yeah, speaking of weed, we got that one. Dude, like so much cool stuff. The ice skating world champion tee. When do you see a t-shirt for ice skating? You see it for basketball, you see it for football, you see it for all these other sports, but when do you see it for ice skating, huh? Speaking of cool little sports tees that are a little bit different, the X Games, the Andy Warhol style little hard rock, the Y2K Harley Davidson with the Tacoma Washington back hit. Oh, I forgot to show this off when I said speaking of weed tees. The Chronic Kodak logo flip on the Onita too. That is so sick. It's tees like that that I always want to keep, but I don't smoke, so I feel like I can't wear it because people will be like, "Oh shit, you smoke!" And people already don't believe me when I tell them that I don't smoke. AOP Energizer Bunny with the still going on the back, keeping along with the uh, sports that you don't see tees for very often. We got ice skating. We also got bowling. Tell me that is not the hardest bowling shirt you've ever seen in your life. The beast is loose and he's holding a little bowling ball. We have a single stitch homies. You got the eight and then you have this Joker character on the back. I actually used to have a poster that was basically this exact same thing. It said the Joker's wild and everything, but it was like glow in the dark. Grateful Dead Bears snowboarding single stitch. I believe I got this for $25. Dollars? Oh man, look at that. That might be one of the coolest nature tees I've ever seen. The porn star love to screw. Damn, the Jerry Garcia with the snowflakes. As you can see, I still have clothes everywhere. This is an ongoing problem. And I have two flea markets to go to in the next two weeks. I'll be going to the Portland Vintage Market this weekend and I plan on driving down to Vegas to go to ThriftCon the following weekend. Now for everyone that I met at the flea market in Fresno, I do appreciate it more than you freaking know. I feel kind of weird looking up to you right now. It feels like it's a semi Pornhub angle. And for that reason, we will change the camera angle just a bit. I did also get a couple ugh, like gun tees. Oh, where's the sick of it all tee? I had so many people ask me about this. I'm kind of surprised because I sold another sick of it all in my personal live. And maybe it was just like so much stuff that People didn't realize what it was, but super sick piece. I actually probably had more people hit me up about this shirt than any other shirt in 
that little preview that I posted to my Instagram, Thrifro, T-H-R-I-F-T-R-O-W. Make sure you follow me on Instagram if you do not already. This shirt I did not show off in the video. Mary's Danish, absolutely insane. Also, it looks like it's gonna fit. I will, of course, try it on. If it does fit, it may not get sold because this piece is gorgeous. <laughs> I also got some like kind of more obscure tees. This is your brain. This is your brain on hollow points. This is your gun. This is your gun after gun control. One of my personal favorites, the 1992 Los Angeles Triathlon Shoot, Loot, and Scoot. I do get some gun tees as well, like this HK shirt. I got a Springfield and this little Acme, beep, beep your ass. I tried everything. Then I got my Acme assault rifle. I really like a lot of more obscure tees. I have a plethora of obscure tees, as you guys can see. I basically just collect those and artsies but the majority of the stuff that I did find like I said will be ran on whatnot I do appreciate all the support it's kind of crazy because I briefly mentioned the fact that I was going to be going to this little vintage expo in Central California and the main reason that it was so brief in an earlier video was just because it required a lot of planning it was super last minute for me to actually make it down there it was me and my bro RJ I had no idea whether or not it was going to be good and whether I would find anything so I'm glad that I did I love going to new locations and one finding stuff that I don't normally see here in the Pacific Northwest which is kind of crazy because it's really not that far but I actually saw quite a few things that I have not seen before and then the other thing is I just like being able to meet people. Sometimes you don't really know like the real world impact of what 20 to 30,000 views actually means outside of YouTube. But even though that was like a small clip in a previous video where I mentioned that I would be at the Central California Expo, I actually had quite a few people come up to me and say like, yo, I came here because I saw your video. And that is so sick to me. I appreciate the love more than you know. Uh, it's insane. Being able to do YouTube for a living is crazy and it's just an honor to get out and basically get paid to look for cool stuff that I like and meet cool people that like similar things as myself. But I do appreciate it because none of it would be possible without you guys watching the videos, without you guys liking, without you guys subscribing, without you guys showing love and support and watching these videos all the way through. And speaking of support, shout out to everyone in the last video that commented. If you made it this far, of course, comment. Circumcision. Thank you guys so much. I cannot say thank you enough, but I will say thank you one more time. Thank you. I appreciate it from the top and bottom of my heart. As always, keep living the star life. I will see you guys in the next video. Much love. Appreciate it. Peace. It's a family affair. My foe, my foe. It's a family affair. We gotta, we gotta go pick up DP the truth. We were driving around all day, but I just gotta say something. Don't ever call me Jake again. Not <laughs> <Don't>. shit. <laughs>